All right, what is up, you beautiful people? And welcome up to the Heroes of the Storm Brawl. We are playing some banks today, and we're joined here by Farlin, who I'm not sure what he's playing right now, but uh, oh, Farlin's got Blaze. That's pretty good here. I'm playing some banks. We just set off a little ping here. But you can, as you guys can see here, Brawl modifiers are pretty good. Pretty good in the sense that, uh, well, we just have a bunch of heroes here. Um, I don't know. It's just it's just a little big brawl. A little big brawl. Uh, I probably should have bought some um, Rocket Boys, but uh, we'll see here. According What's to the, the news, uh, Manx has been patched, and now he is a little bit stronger. Um, he is a little bit stronger. Let's see. Does that hit both of them? I think that kind of hits both of them. I can't tell. I'm against a Karak still, by the looks of it. And I'm also against my own internet service provider, which I am switching out. Good riddance, boys. I, we're getting rid of that stuff, boys. We are no longer, we are no longer with uh, it. It. We do not speak of the name. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah, I'm switching out soon. TM. Let's see. Manx. Oh, I can, I can turn a boy into a warhound. Oh my God. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, so I was told that 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 boys were patched. Um. But I was not told that boys build into Warhound. Okay, by the way guys, Warhound stats are completely busted here. I think it costs 120 to upgrade them from boys. So they're 165 minerals, and I think they have a missile battery here. Uh, yeah, it does like, it does some missile damage here. Let's see, I don't know. Um, it's not that great though, by the looks of it. We're still getting overrun here. We're gonna need some flame boys, probably. Um, we're gonna have to experiment, boys, but Mang's got some Warhounds. Um, so that's gonna be fun. Uh, what do I want here? I'm gonna put down an Aegis Guard in the back. Oh, we're gonna put down some lag as well. Oh, yeah, baby. Slow motion Aegis Guard, boys. And then, so let's see. We. Okay, so we just lost our. Oh my god. Uh, flame, flame Boys got a little cheaper. We're gonna need some Flame Boys here. Um, and we have Squish here. Saying hello to Squish here. Let's go. Oh no, these are supposed to be. Uh oh, I'm against a bunch of Marauders. This is bad. This is bad, boys. Um, can I at least eat? Eat. My Gary's getting taken out here. Oh, boys. Uh, we're getting smashed here. Farland at least has his cannon spaced out a little bit, but holy, we are getting. We're just getting rushed down here. Um, we're not gonna really have much time to enjoy any Warhounds here, but we got a lot of Dragoons coming in. The Dragoons and the Nexus together should be able to hold the line here, but uh, I'm against S War like uh, Squish's Rainer Bile right now, and let's see. Well, let's see, the Warhound is good against mechanical turn, like mechanical units. Uh, 30 damage per volley. It doesn't tell me how many though, so that's interesting. Um, let's see, Rainer Bile with all those things. I'm gonna put down a bunch of Lings here, and hopefully that'll be helpful. Put down some wings on the side here. Um, I'm gonna put down ready for dust off here. Let's get some ready for dust off. But yeah, Rainer Bow is gonna kick our butts for a little bit here, I think. Upgrade weapons here. I don't even have my bunker upgraded yet. But my lings here should be able to just murder these marauders here pretty effectively here. There we go. And then I'm gonna get healing aura one more time so we can heal up here. Hopefully heal our way through the Karax. But uh, there we go, boys. A uh, pretty pretty spicy start here. Warhounds only shoot ground units, um, but apparently their missiles can hit air units. A big question mark on that one. I'm not sure. I'm not really too sure, but apparently, I have been told my Aegis Guard is popping off here. Uh, oh, he's out of stim. He's out of stim, boys. We got some Hydralis coming in, uh, and I want to put down some Rocket Boys kind of off to the side. I don't know if this is a good decision here. But yeah, Warhounds are hella expensive, but uh, do I don't think Manx has access to Warhounds as a co-op commander though, that's the thing. I'm just trying to remember, I don't think he does. Uh, but anyways, I'm gonna move you back. Dahaka's been changed so he can only get one worm per level now. Um, and so he has to be tier 3 to have three worms. I guess that's a pretty good balance change in terms of like just it being balanced. Like before it was just kind of strong. It was kind of very strong. Uh, because you could put down triple worms here. We got a lot of annihilators here. Rocket boys here trying to take on Gary. Uh, do I have what it takes? Okay, just enough rocket boys here. 
Um, so let's see. Oh, okay. So the Warhound just shoots like 30 damage missiles against like mechanical targets. Um, I guess that's okay. Is it like an anti-tank unit? I don't even know, boys. It's just another way for Manx to spend his minerals, and I guess I'm, I guess I'm happy with that. Uh, their attack speed is okay. It's not really too strong. Like it doesn't go too fast. Um, but I need to get some. What do I need to get here? I'm against Carax, right? Oh, that's the beam here, boys. I need to get Emperor Shadows, I think, uh, or something like that. I need to get some Emperor Shadows here just to stun, especially against all those uh, Rainer units here. Um. Uh, Let's see here, boys. Come on. Come on, Rocket Boys. Take down the enemy Gary here. Um, yeah, we're gonna... I don't even know, boys. I need I need so many units here. I probably need some more Aegis Guards, actually. We just need more initial contact damage. Um, like, I, we just gotta be stronger on the initial contact here. Uh, I'm gonna fill this thing up here with Rocket Boys. Uh, there we go. And then Dahaka here. Let's see, but I need tanks. I need to start getting some tanks here, because we are getting pushed in pretty hard, and tanks are pretty great at dealing with that. I just need to, uh, well, buy them, I suppose. Um, but yeah, a rocket bunker here should be able to take up most of the Garys that are coming in, and so we might be able to stabilize here. We got our Dhaka coming in here with his Hydralisk. Hydralisks are gonna be struggling a little bit here, but we'll see. Rainer Bio coming in, boys. Coming in hot. I don't know. The, the Warhound seems like a pretty interesting unit here. We're going to have to play, play test with it a few more times uh, to really know how strong it is. Um, let's see. My Aegis Guard here should be able to just smash through these units here. Uh, but unfortunately, I am out of fodder units here, so that's kind of bad. Um, I'm going to put a tank here. Actually, I'm going to put the tank like right here behind the Rocket Boys over here. Um... And hopefully those tanks will start uh, paying dividends here against uh, against the Annihilators here. Do I have a Gary in here? Is one of my that's my Gary. That's my Gary boys. That's my Gary. Um, Farland here is just dropping down as many Hydras as possible. I'm mean, the Hydras uh, Dragoons as possible here. Double the Haka gonna nom two things at once. Uh, I'm gonna put down some more ready for dust offs here. And there we go, and then equip you guys here. And I think our Dahaka is going to be able to get oh chitinous plating. Let's go for that. And I'm going to need some smart servos here. My tanks not having fast siege just feels kind of bad, boys. Feels kind of bad. Also, my medivacs only have one one level of healing, so they can't really heal that many units here. Hopefully, that is going to be good enough here. We're still getting them smart servos going. Uh, that's a lot of Annihilators here. There we go. Smart Servos should start being good here. Come on. Uh, and then I need to get the Dual Resuscitators here. I do have quite a few Medivacs. And this tank is going to start hopefully raking in the kills. That's what I'm hoping for. There we go. Uh, but we do have to start thinking about dealing with air units. Um, but yeah. Let's see. We're, we're getting healed up here. We're getting a huge heal here. Oh yeah, Nux dropping his blast there. I could probably upgrade Nux. I don't know. I would probably prefer to get more tanks though. Like the so the shock divisions will beat up Rainer Rainer's ground units like no tomorrow. Um, so as long as we stabilize, we should be fine. Annihilator's pulling up here. Carax is tier three. That's telling me we might see some. Uh, we might be seeing some carriers soon enough. Um, so yeah, I do have some rocket boys here. They're off to the side. Oh, we destroyed the cannon? Okay, I am down for that one. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go to tier 3 actually, so we can get some Black Hammer action here. Uh, Black Hammer should be very helpful. Get the Incapacitor shells here. That'll, I don't know, do some slow action. Um, the Warhound has a melee attack, which is absolutely hilarious, by the way. <laughs> oh man, I didn't realize the Warhound upgraded from the boys, like just pilot Warhound. It's kind of hilarious. Can I get the SCV upgrade for my uh, Manx boys as well? Turn them into an SCV? Uh, it should just be like, when you turn them into an SCV, you get minerals back. You know, I'm, I'm all for that, guys. Uh, <laughs> oh, let's see, Earth Splitter here. Um, should I get Earth Splitter? I don't know. I guess I could. 
I did want a black hammer, but I could just put down an earth splitter here, just right in front. Uh, I'm gonna need hemispheric accelerants though for it to hit anything all the way back there. Uh, wave number two coming in here. I have one warhound. Um, you know, it's like the diversity hire. You know, you gotta you gotta have yourself some diversity hire. We got some broodlords here. Uh, I think it's probably time to get some sky theories. Um, oh, broodlords. Okay. No, nope, Broodlords are done. I think they got dealt with pretty quickly here. Aegis Guard are just going to start pummeling it down. Oh man, there's a Hyperion, boys. Here we go. We got a good game on our hands, boys. The back and forth. We've got some Tempest Enjoyments coming out here from Farland. Um, but, okay. Let's get some Sky Furies, boys. Well, let's get some Sky Furies. Sky Furies will be able to rip through the Hyperion pretty nicely. And yeah. Maybe I should put my Aegis Guards a little more forward. Yeah, they are they are getting pretty strong here. And I do actually have Flame Breath now, so I'm going to get that. Let's get our Flame Breath here. So I should be able to handle the Hyperion, I think. Uh, I'm going to increase my Garrison level, maybe. Yeah, let's do that by one. And then hopefully Rocket Boys here. Oh, they're not going to they're not gonna do well into the Carriers, though. The Carriers are just going to kick their butts. Gary's just going to go down real quick. And, oh yeah, the Tide's going to turn real quick here. I only have one Sky Fury, so it's not going to really do too well. And, and uh, Hyperion is constantly being healed up here. Um, and there's just so many air units here. Uh, maybe going tier 3 was a mistake. Because I was like, maybe I can get a Black Hammer. But Black Hammer is not really good against these big boys. Um, he can't oh my god, the Haka got them leaps, boys. That's what happens when you get tier 2 leap, boys. He just he just be hopping across the field. Doing some, uh, doing some slam dunks there, boys. Uh, but yeah, uh, once we deal with Hyperion, we should be fine. Yeah, Hyperion is really the main problem here. It's just really tanky, really hard to deal with. You know, some things never change, right? Um, there we go. There we go. I'm going to increase my weapons one more rank. My Rocket Boys in the back here. Okay. Sky Fury is landing. And come on, Rocket Boys. Come on. There we go. Sky Fury is going to take out the Hyperion real quickly here. It's always important to save money. I think this week with Manx, it's like you just want to build the cheap... You want to build your cheap Royal Guards, I think. Because the cheap Royal Guards, you can buy lots of them. You can you can just have lots of them. And they're going to be useful against most of your opponent's units here. Uh, and... Ooh! Got some baby lag coming in here. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be swapping on internet basically at the end of this week. I'm going camping for the rest of the week. So uh, these videos are 100% well, going to be pre-recorded. I mean, they, they always are, but... You know, they're now even more so than ever. I'm gonna get three Sky Furies here to seal the deal on the air here. And then we'll just gotta get some Black Hammers and we should be good. We should be good here. Uh, cause the Black Hammers will completely slap these Vikings. Um, at least that's the hope. And, uh, it'll also deal with Karax pretty nicely. Uh, unless Karax gets Colossus. Um, let's see. He does have some Mirages here. Mirages are gonna be a little problematic, but we'll see. Uh-huh. Hyperion just getting bopped here by some rocket boys. Those rocket boys are going to take Hyperion down here. There we go. And there we go. I still don't have any detection, by the way, guys. Um, nobody's noticed, though, so it's okay. You know? Um, you know you're playing against Wujus. The real Wujus. Because there's no detection. At uh, 13 minutes, boys. Um, shh, it's okay. Just, no, nobody, 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 nobody bring attention to it, you know? Um, let's go. Uh, should I gas up here? I'm gonna gas up here. And then we're gonna go for a black hammer. It might seem like going for the black hammer first might be better, but I think just getting the benefit of the gas while we still have that middle income is still pretty important. It's still pretty vital here. And then I'm gonna put the black hammers off to the side, like kind of where my tank is. Um, and then, yeah. I'm pretty excited about the Manx Warhound. It seems like the Warhound might be like a weird. I don't know, man. Warhounds are sort of this weird unit, too, to begin with. It's like, it feels like some sort of weird role that's not exactly too clear. Um, you know? I don't know. Uh, let's see. Gary makes a great tank for my Sky Theories. Uh, but yeah. Because it's like, it's like, I guess it's like anti-mechanical. It does like 30 damage here per shot. So it, it's, it's not, it does not lack in the DPS, that's for sure. Um, Aegis Guard here going to town on Blaze. Ooh, Earth Splitter here just knocking out those Hydralisks here. Uh, Sky Fears are also great against enemy Dahakas, so it's just like, on top of all that, it's just a great combination here. Uh, Tempest Enjoyment is coming in here. Best part about playing Manx is you can watch the 
you can watch this screen, uh, like watch the battle unfold because uh, your 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 units cost so much. Uh, <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna get some uh, bulwark field here. That'll probably help keep my rocket boys alive against the carriers a little longer. Um, yeah, I think it's gonna be about. It's just a matter of time before we end the game here. Like this one push here is looking like it's gonna be pretty lethal here. We got a massive Dahaka, which means well, that's our Dahaka actually. Uh, but yeah, things. Oh, we got some. We got some really cheeky uh, mutalists coming in here. Uh, can I get you to like siege up here like that? Boom, 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 boom. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, boys. Oh yeah, boys. There it is. All right. There we go. That's a GG, boys. That's a GG, boys. That was actually a really good game here. I'll be honest. Like they had us in like the first half. Uh, but yeah, Warhounds seem like they're like this really durable. 160 mineral unit, pretty durable, 220 health, they got one base armor, so they can get up to like, four base armor, if you put like a black hammer next to it, it's actually pretty thick, it's got like, seven armor then. I don't know, what is its role though, you know, it's like, attacking mechanical unit, I guess it's like an anti-mech unit, so like, you might buy this against Stepman, but it's also mechanical, so like, Stepman Ultras are gonna kick your butt, I don't know. Like, what? I don't know. Uh, we gotta play test this more. But for right now, I'm not feeling the Warhound. I don't know. It doesn't. It doesn't seem that great. If it could attack air units as well, it might be. It might be actually be busted. Um, but yeah, Rocket Boy is doing okay, I guess. Uh, Tank doing pretty good. Uh, Aegis Guard doing pretty good. I think yeah. This week with Manx, focus on the cheap Royal Guards. You don't really want too much of the Royal Guards that cost more than 400 minerals. I think. Uh, yeah, there we go. Just because it's a huge tempo loss if uh, they eat it. But there we go. If you guys enjoyed this Colleen Manx game back and forth, uh, be sure to leave a like. And until next time, I will see you guys later. The tires. Let's light some fires. Need a light. They picked the wrong fight.